task. All right, in this example, we're going to be looking at solving a word problem. And this is the open top box problem. Uh, we have a square piece of cardboard, 18 centimeters by 18 centimeters, from which we're going to cut square corners out, fold up the flaps, and create a box. So let's sketch a picture of what that box is going to look like. And that's just a rough sketch of what that box is going to look like when we cut the corners out and fold it up. Now our goal here is to find a for formula for the volume in terms of X. And remember that the volume formula for a cube is length times width times height. So we're going to have to find the length, the width, and the height of this box. So let's come over here to our picture. Notice that this entire length of this side is 18. And from that, I'm going to cut an X off of one end and an X off of the other. So we can express that length as 18 minus 2X. Because it was 18, and I'm going to subtract an X off of each side. The width is going to be the same. Since this is a square piece of cardboard, the width is going to be 18 minus 2X. And notice when I fold this flap up, the height of the box is going to be this length of the flap, which is how much we're going to cut off, which is X. And so now that we have the length, width, and height in terms of X, we can write the volume formula. That's going to be length times width times height. And that is the answer to getting our volume formula. Next, we're going to see if we can find the domain of this volume function. So remember the domain or the values that X can be. And if you look back at the picture, you can see that X is the amount that we're going to cut from the corner. So what is the minimum amount I can cut from the corner? Well, I think the least that I could cut is none. But can I really cut zero? If X equals zero, then I didn't really cut any, and I can't fold up a flap to make a box. So we're going to use a parenthesis saying that uh, zero is not included because you wouldn't produce a box if, uh, if you cut nothing. But it can be really close to zero. And so now let's consider what is the most I can cut. Well, if I, can, if I cut into this side here... The most I could cut, I think, is halfway in. Because I do have to cut from both sides. And the side length is 18. So I think the most I could cut is 9. Half of 18 is 9. But we're going to put a parenthesis because if I cut equal to 9 and 9 from the other side, I've actually cut all of the cardboard away and there won't be any box. So that's the domain of this function. And now we're going to look at a particular value. Let's say that we decide to let x equal 2 centimeters. We've decided that we want to cut 2 centimeters off. We want to find the dimensions of the box if we cut 2 centimeters. The dimensions. So the dimensions of the box our length by width by height. And we scroll up and we see the height is just X. So that's one of our dimensions. And the length is 18 minus 2X. So we can say the length is 18 minus 2X, but X is 2. That's going to be 18 minus 4 which is 14. And remember the width was the same as the length. So the width's going to be 14 also. 
So that gives us the dimensions of the box if we cut two centimeters from each corner.